Johann Cruyff, my friends, the man who has a move named after himself. After himself, okay, we're gonna look at how baller this man was and how we can incorporate it into our own games. Let's go. It is insane what you can learn in five minutes from one guy focusing on one move because of his laser focus on this specific skill that allowed him to do it and bring it out whenever he wanted. So you just need to understand a few points and you can use these not just on this move, but in any place you find yourself in this situation. So let's check out the reason they call this the Cruyff. Now that you've seen the destruction of this defender, what happened? Why did this happen? How can we understand how to utilize this for ourselves? So if we look at the entire play, long play does a very good job of receiving this pass. He's still got a lot left to do. The defender comes in as he should to pressure him. What you can see is he's trying to get control of the ball and the defender knows that it's time to press. He's got his back to the goal. That's exactly what you should do as a defender. You as an attacking player must know that when a dude is all up in your space, when he's all in your grill, you have to know this is an opportunity. He can't see. He's too focused on trying to get the ball, and that means he's lost the plot. The very next thing he does, you can see that his arm is extended out just a little, not only because that's what you do when you're getting ready to make a long cross, but because it gives you a little bit of space. He extends the arm, he turns as if he's going to cross the ball, and he, of course, was never going to cross it, but that little space is what gave him the ability to turn. It's genius, all right? Obviously, the guy has nothing. It's as if he wasn't there. He almost falls over and he's gone. Watching this in incredibly slow motion, you guys just remember the principles that we just said. Get the ball under control, protect it first. That's what Cruyff did. Got the ball, protect it first. If the guy continues to press, you have so much available to you because just a little body faint, which this is a subset of a body faint, will allow you to lose the defender. And you're gonna see that because he obviously does this all the time. We're gonna show you another clip of it. All right, so in this next clip, you see the exact same principle present itself again. There's a reason that Messi's faint works over and over again, because there are certain principles that are part of the game that no matter where you are, they will always work. Croy figured that out, and that's how he perfected this, and you can take it, the same principle, and utilize it anywhere on the field. As we see this here, the guy, number four, is all over him, once again, trying to make sure he doesn't turn, which you can't overcommit. These defenders are over committing and on a skillful player, boom, he does the same thing. The guy takes off down as he thinks he's gonna pass, he's gonna cross, he's gonna shoot whatever he thinks he's doing. He was never gonna do it. The very final principle for you to understand about all this is that when you wanna turn, because your most important thing as an attacking player is to always turn the defender if you can. Now, if a guy's all over you, then it's very likely that there's not gonna be another guy behind him just doing the same thing. That's, that's not gonna happen. What it means is that the space is right where you think it is. You just have to move him, all right? So the idea isn't always as an attacking player to over destroy them and, and be stronger and go through them. No, guys like Robinho, guys like Cruyff, guys like Messi, Kun Aguero, you gotta get the big guy to move. And that's what this does, all right? We could of course go in depth and make an entire video on all of the things that Cruyff does, but what's most important for you is to try and take the best of his game and incorporate it into your game. And another principle that he has down for sure is the stop and go, all right? The hesitation. He would stop and go. He would set up, all right? Explode. A lot of players have this skill and a lot of players understand this principle. And if you guys can see in these clips right here that we are showing that it's not something that's flashy, but it's something that if you can get down and understand, it will create opportunities for you. Mohamed Salah scored a goal exactly from this principle. If you guys, we could throw up maybe a two or three second clip of that. Please, God, EPL, do not take this down. We just want to show you guys that if you can understand this, it will come up all over the place. That's why we teach principles here at Gold Ramey, because if you guys can learn these things, you will start to recognize them in your own game. Okay, so as you can see, as Koif does it, as you can see, Mohamed Salah does it. And if you can put it in your game, you will ball. My friends, that's the vid. Team Golaremi loves you. And you know why we love you? Because you just click subscribe and you turn the bell notification button. Thank you. Check out everything we got for you down here below in the description box. I'm sure there's going to be a discount code, some promos and all that stuff. And you know, we do it big here at Team Golaremi, okay? See you later. Light it up, light it up. Ah, light it up, light it up.